Hi, I'm James, and I'm doing something a little bit different today, as I've got a question that I'm fairly regularly asked, and just thought it might be worth doing a little video, just short talk, uh, explaining why some things are as they are with modern laptops. And um, so frequently, I get asked if it's possible to upgrade the graphics in a machine, and um, typically the answer is no. There are exceptions to this, but in cases where your laptop has Intel HD graphics or Intel Iris graphics, generally that graphics is built into the processor. Um, so you have a single chip in the case of the ultra low voltage ones, which also includes the chipset as well. And um, what's called the PCH where all your hard drive and the peripherals attach um, and everything is built into that. You may then have a Nvidia or AMD discrete card as well. That almost certainly will be soldered down to the motherboard and don't believe when people say, oh, you can just desolder it and solder down a new one. You can't. Um, what you have when you buy the machine in that case is what is fixed in there for the life of the system. There are some exceptions to that. Um, here we have what is called an MXM module. Uh, this particular one is a GeForce GTX 870M. And this goes in a Clevo laptop I have here. Now the problem with these and the reason this isn't used in every laptop is kind of two things. First of all, the drive in modern consumer laptops is to get them slimmer, lighter, sleeker profile. And the Clevo that that module goes in looks like this. It is a absolute brick of a machine. Um, in terms of overall footprint, it's probably not far off one of your consoles. Um, and really that just means it's not a very nice machine for most people um, and you are compromised because this can take from I believe it is an 860 or 850 all the way up to a, a GTX 880M but no matter what you have in there that thermal solution is always equipped to take an 880M so even if you have a less powerful laptop you still have the extra bulk and the extra weight of a thermal solution that can call the most powerful that the cool the most powerful graphics card that this laptop can take so you end up with a very thick very bulky laptop and when you think the uh, 880m module for this machine costs 600 pounds that's about 800 dollars um the likelihood of you buying it with a lower end gpu and actually wanting to fit a very expensive and at that point not even current because you're not going to upgrade immediately you just buy a better laptop you're going to be looking a year down the line are you really going to spend that much money to upgrade to an old gpu when you could just buy a new laptop with say a 970m or a 1070 or whatever your new graphics card is so that's why you don't tend to see many machines using these mxm modules um, generally because they're just not particularly good unless you have a specific use for them um, in my case I have this one because I needed it for some work where we needed to be having interchangeable modules in the exact same machine but that's a very niche market um, so unless you fall into that kind of category you really it's not something you're going to find I hope you found this video useful and um, let me know if you like this format. I'm experimenting with it for the first time. I haven't really done anything to camera in the past. Um, and if you do like it, let me know what topics you'd like to see me covering in the future. Thanks for watching.